Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today is another Thrifty Thursday haul, showing you some of the items that I've picked up in the last two weeks. Hopefully it inspires you to look for your own secondhand items for journaling and paper craft. So let's get on to the video. The first thing I want to show you is this book that I actually picked up yesterday. It was in a, a book op shop that I go to, like a secondhand bookshop. And it was just amongst all the other books, but when, when I opened it, I saw it was from 1947. And I thought, oh, it's just going to have words in it. But it's actually full of all these beautiful colour plates of London. So I thought that it would be perfect to use in a travel journal. I have just finished the London page of my travel journal. Hopefully I can show my travel journal off very soon. Um, so I don't really need any of these colour plates, but I'm due for another trip to London. I really would love to go again. So I'm sure that I might keep a few of these for myself, especially this one. This is beautiful. This is the um, sunken gardens at Kensington Palace. So yeah, that was a really cool find. And even underneath the dust jacket, the actual book itself is kind of cute too. So I thought absolutely perfect for, um, for using parts of it from my journal. Now these were a fantastic find. I got them off um, Facebook Marketplace. They were a big collection of Simplicity Pattern magazines. Um, most of them that I received were from the 80s and 90s, which you know aren't, aren't really of my taste, but I got a few early 70s ones in the pack. So I've been really busy fussy cutting these um, and I've actually listed some packs in my store of the original fussy cuts that I've done from some of these books. So if you're interested in any of these fashion models, you can check out my Etsy store. But the link is in the description um, and you can find some of the packs of these fussy cut fashion models. But otherwise, I just absolutely love these. I'm also turning them into printables. So look, keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes peeled <laughs> for those. Absolutely love, like I just love this page. I'm really, really hoping to get onto a fashion journal soon and pages like this with these beautiful colors are going to be absolutely perfect. Here's another one. This one is kind of like mid seventies, I think. And I just love the colors and the patterns. Just gorgeous. Now I picked up this music book. So um, lots of times I find sheet music at the op shop, but it's always like one sheet of music is like $2 for like one sheet. And I'm like, why would I spend that much? And I managed to get this book. I'm pretty sure it only cost me $2 or something. Um, and it's really thick as you can see, and it's just full of music. And if you're a junk journaler, you know that it's always important to have a, uh, some music paid pages in your collection. They make great fillers for journal covers, not journal covers for journaling. Oh my goodness. I can't talk today. I picked up this. This was just in a pile of um, paper and ephemera from the junk store that I've spoken about before. Um, and it was really, I think it was like 50 cents. And it's actually just an instruction book and recipe book for a Sunbeam electric fry pan. And I just really loved the front cover and the back cover because it has all of these Sunbeam appliances on there from I think the early 60s. Um, so there, this whole kind of cover is going to make a really great um, page to sew into a cooking journal. Um, but there's also, you know, some, some recipes in there. And I always find it interesting to go through vintage recipe books and just see how people were cooking like this sweet and sour pork. It actually looks not too bad. It has pineapple juice and everything in there. So I wonder if they're frying it. Simmer mix gently. Oh, so it's not like the deep fried version. Anyway, <laughs> I'm off on a tangent. That is my Sunbeam little book and I just loved the cover. I picked up this novel purely for the fact that I loved the cover. I don't know anything about the story, but the cover is so like late 60s psychedelic kind of style. Um, I just loved the pink and the brown all together and I thought it would make a really cool like 60s, 70s journal. 
So I might even, I've been trying to think of what I can use as a fashion journal cover eventually. And this is kind of in the running for that. So love that cover. It's the only reason why I bought the book really. <laughs> this one here also came in that uh, pile of paper from the junk store, the same place that I got the Sunbeam book, Sunbeam book from. And this is a book that is a souvenir booklet from the Royal Visit to Australia. So Queen Elizabeth's visit to Australia in 1954. And you can see some really cool uh, photographs in there. I really love British like royal history. So it's always a treat to find stuff like this. It's also got a map that shows where she visited in 1954. And she even came to lonely old Perth. <laughs> so that's really cool. I think the... Um, it's not in really great shape, but eh, you know, it was cheap, so why not? I got this Enid Gilchrist pattern book. And usually I don't buy these pattern books because they're not very interesting. They're usually just, you know, a whole page full of knitting pattern. But this one, someone was giving away for free on Facebook Marketplace. And so I just picked it up. It was nearby. And it has all these really great illustrations in there, like perfect for a fashion journal. So I love that. I'm going to add some of these pages to my fashion packs. And then hopefully, like I said, when I get onto that fashion journal, I can add them too. But like, just look at all these pages with the, the skirts and the dresses. Um, it was a really, really good find and even better that it was free. So not in great shape on the outside, but inside is a treasure. I picked up these three home journal, Australian home journal magazines, one from 1957, one from 1963, and one from 1958. And these were purchased from Facebook Marketplace um, from a lady in, I think she was in Adelaide or Sydney, somewhere over east. Um, and usually I don't like buy things like from people that have to send them but I thought oh you know I like home journal magazines there's always something in them so I thought oh, I'll just grab three of them um and home journal magazines aren't super interesting but what I love about them is their advertising especially the 1951 50s ones um most of all though they have really beautiful fashion illustrations so I've um I've digitized these and I'm going to be selling them in my Etsy store and I also may fussy cut them and sell the fussy cuts as well. So yeah, these are the fashion illustrations from this home journal magazine. They're all in black and white in the early one, but I love the front cover. And then if we go to the 1960s, the fashion illustrations are mainly in color. Not those, <laughs> but these, and I absolutely love those illustrations. So um, and I, I just like the printing style of the home journal magazines as well. So that's why I like to pick them up. These are the really cute children's fashion pages. Um, and you always get lovely ads. Like this is a nylon ad. And the ads on the back for all three actually are for Arnott's Biscuits. So this is for Scotch Fingers and this is for Arrowroot Biscuits. So again, great pages to use in my cooking journals. Um, I've got three more things to show you. So this one's not so exciting, but it's always useful for me. I sell medical journal, uh, sorry, medical ephemera packs in Etsy. I've probably always got one on the go because they're very popular. As soon as I put them up, they tend to sell very quickly. Um, so this one is a book on the body and it's got some really, um, really interesting, like kind of medical, uh, pictures in there so sorry if this if you are a bit, are a bit sensitive to medical pictures <laughs> um, but even like scientific kind of ones as well because I've always got science packs that I'm creating as well so yeah we've got this really cool like black and white spine um, I just yeah I just really liked the illustrations and the photographs in this so I thought eh, I'll pick it up always useful not so exciting but always quite useful. Second last thing I want to show you is this book. Now this is quite quite special because um, this sunshine book 
is what kind of um, interested me in the whole recycling and upcycling books. So a long, long time ago, I was looking through a magazine and inside the magazine, they were showing you how to turn old novels into like how to bind them and turn them into notebooks, like recycle them into um like coiled notebooks and they had used the sunshine book and I really was like oh that book looks so cool like I love the vintageness vintageness of it if that's even a word um and I managed to find it so hopefully I'll be able to turn this into my own little journal I'm thinking of doing it in a like putting it through my bind it all and binding it with like wire binding it um, and maybe using it as a notebook or something and it's got some really cute little illustrations in there as well so yeah I always like finding Enid Blyton books when I was a kid um, like the folk of the faraway tree and um, the naughtiest girl in the school and all those Enid Blyton books were like my favorite books to read um, especially because I was always like um, reading uh, like the books that I got were always from the library and they were always kind of old like this and they always had the vintage covers on them. So, um, yeah, I guess I've loved them always. So that was a great treat to find. And the last thing are these four wallpaper rolls. And in my last Thrifty Thursday haul, I um, had picked up some wallpaper and that's actually been quite popular in my Etsy store. So when I saw these, I thought, yeah, I'll grab them. They're only a dollar each, a dollar a roll. And the roll is actually pretty thick. And it's just this lovely kind of um, dark red flower pattern. And I just think it would make gorgeous trim, especially in a lot of the like Victorian journals that I see. So if you're interested in in this, I'm probably going to be listing it in my Etsy store very soon. So um, and I might be, you know, I might do, say, a meter or 60 centimeters. I'm not too sure. Um, probably I'll probably sell it in a meter in a meter. Um, but it's just beautiful. I love it. So yeah, they're all my finds over the last two-ish weeks, I think. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun fussy cutting things up. I really need to get onto my Etsy store. I don't, I've, I've been listing things, you know, every couple of days there's new things in the store, but I've just been a little bit lazy with listing my themed packs. <laughs> I've just been lazy on the whole, I think, but this has kind of revived me. There's lots for me to do, especially fussy cutting these simplicity books is kind of my task at the moment, um, digitizing them and all of that. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment and tell me what you liked out of this haul. Um, tell me what you have found in the last couple of weeks. I'm really, I really love reading people's comments. I'm always checking up and seeing the comments. So thank you so much for those of you that have recently subscribed. Because from my last video, I got like a bit of a jump in subscribers, which was really exciting for me. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye. If you liked out of this haul, um, and what you have found recently, I'd really love to know as well. All right. Have a great day. See ya.